वेलकम टू जावाई जैसम एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन टॉक अबाउट टेक महिंद्रा इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस सो दे हैव स्टार्टेड हायरिंग फॉर द फोर ईयर एक्सपीरियंस जावा डेवलपर एंड दे आस्क द कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस लाइक इन द सेकेंड राउंड दे आस्क वन कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस एंड दैट इज वेरी ट्रिकी बेसिकली दैट इज नॉट टू मच हार्ड और समथिंग बट इट्स अ वेरी ट्रिकी इफ यू थिंक समथिंग ईजली यू कैन डू ईजली ओके बट इफ यू नॉट थिंक यू कैन डू इट ओके सो दैट इज द वे वी हैव टू डू इट सो इफ यू सी हियर दे आस्क लाइक क्रिएट ए वन फंक्शन विच टेक इनपुट एज ए सेवन एंड रिटर्न एलेवन एंड इफ गिव द इनपुट एज ए एलेवन इट विल रिटर्न सेवन बट द कंडीशन इज without using conditional statement if or else okay so as a developer if you think about a we can create one function and whenever people will pass uh, 11 or 7 we can return 11 or if he pass the 11 we can return 7 like that we can think generally using the if else condition but they told like hey you don't want to use any if else conditions then how we can do it okay so let's see how we can do those things okay <clears throat> so let me write the main methods okay and uh, let's create one function <coughs> so this is the function you have to create public uh, static int return type you have to return some value every time and function name is test data okay and uh, test data is going to return some value okay which we have to return and it will take some input so let's take in so the condition is you don't want to use anything else if else conditions you don't want to use if else conditions <coughs> don't use if else condition or any conditional statement okay <coughs> you don't want to use those things okay so how we can do it okay so if you think like how we can write a logic here write logic to return to return if input is 7 return 11 or if input is 11 return 7 it's a just opposite you have to return this logic we have to write here yes. and then after call this method from here test data and pass any value which is 7 okay and again test data and pass 11 okay and uh, the opposite of this value it's going to display you have to test it okay so for testing what we can do is we can write those things inside the s out <clears throat> so we can write like that s out system dot out dot println and uh, input <coughs> is just seven then what is the output so you have to call the test data methods okay so we can call here let's call the test data method and pass here input as a 7 so if you call this method whatever they will return they will print it here so our expected output is what for that 11 in the same way if input is 11 our expected output is what 7 so it should display the opposite value like that okay you have to write the logic so lots of the people's maybe think like hey how can i write it if we don't want to use the if else conditions any conditional statements then is there any way to write it okay yes we have a way so what you can do is it's a very simple questions you can just add both the value 7 plus 11 and just do the minus n so whatever the parameters it's coming if it is coming 7 you can add both and minus the 7 so minus 7 plus 7 will go and only you can get remaining is 11 
so it will return the 11 value okay let me run and i will show you it's very easy right but uh, if you think first time it see like oh it's a very difficult how we can do it okay so like that happen sometimes if you are a beginners and if you are not able to think about it then definitely you can face the issue but it's a very simple logic just add both the value and do the minus what are the value you are getting from the functions okay so i hope guys you can get some benefit and you understood like how the people are testing your minds and trying to understand you are able to think something or not okay that is just logical test they are doing it okay if you have any doubt or maybe if you have some different way to do it let me know in the comment section okay thank you so much